last time on Heroes Play. Then here comes Corbin. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> nothing else. Nothing has happened. They're really loud. You have cleverly found the next trap. Drops at a sharp angle down. Give me a dexterity save. Do uh, do does anyone go forward to try and help him climb out of the? Uh... Toss a rope. So, you fall. <laughs> And the result? He's not a one. For a ride. Well, that's good. Not a two. That's good, too. Not a three, either. That's good. Not even a four. Uh-oh. But, but a five. Right <laughs> Zio <laughs> one, disappears two, down the slide after uh, <laughs> Corbin. <laughs> I always tell him, if the trick's not working, you just let go. It's fine. <laughs> if... You know, if my character was more of a dick, I would I, have liked him. I will, I will give Zio a uh, dexterity save. <gasps> oh, cool. Uh, no. I will happily take that. Don't roll a one? I didn't roll a one. I got a uh, 12. <laughs> Still not enough. Nope. Probably not. We actually have to check my, uh, my little crib sheet. <laughs> you just managed to let go of the rope in time. Aww. <sighs> Great. So now Sorry. I'm down here with a rope around me with no one holding it. <laughs> you splash into the water at the bottom. Uh, uh, Corbin splashes into the water at the bottom of the ramp. The water, now you know, is three feet deep. Excellent. So. And, um, deep end for kobolds. <laughs> Knee yes. high for me. Okay, it good. Is, so, do you pre- pretend like you're drowning and something's pulling you under? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's comforting. <laughs> See, you guys don't know this, but when he says oh dear or goody, it, it, it's usually not good. And then he pulls out another for book who? and he's got to look something up. Oh, shit. Corbin, you are going to have to make a save. A save that is... It's not Snowflake! A dexterity it's not save! Uh. Give me a dexterity save. <laughs> 13. Oh, Corbin. Corbin, 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 Corbin. It's not Snowflake. It's you not hit the water, snowflake. splashing into it, and you feel something caustic burning against your cheek. You pull out of there as quickly as you possibly can. On the, the corner of your helmet, just barely, so it didn't really get fully onto, <gasps> there is a neon bright slime. Dick move! Bright green slime. Hold on, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> that was a pencil That drop. was a pencil Yeah. <laughs> Where the hell <laughs> yeah, did a cobalt get a new just a of water. That's, that's <laughs> the gelatinous cube. The Whatever the hell this is. Yeah, most what? frightening slime of all the green slime. Yeah, what's you this? managed to make your save. If you had failed your save, the green slime would have done wow. a D10 acid damage to you every round until you die. What's this white plume bullshit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is where I learned that trick. Because you're in a foot of mud with two feet of water. Underneath the mud is green fucking slime. (laughs) You did manage to pull yourself... uh, You're still under the water, but you're pretty sure you're safe from the slime at the moment. Just don't slip. Just don't move is what you're saying? This is where you live now. This is my home. Come and visit, bring you some snacks every now and then. (laughs) Maybe he'll tell you a story. Maybe. So... So what do you guys do? Um, he's got green slime on the side of his helmet. So that sucks. You, you might want to take that helmet off. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Because that's gonna suck if that touches anything organic. Well, that's good thing it was just a puddle of water. <laughs> 
No, Ooh, I forgot. Yeah. This is Baker. I don't think I need to. I think it's already applied. <laughs> Uh, so, um, Corbin, helmet. Yes, no. It's not my turn, is it? Oh, go ahead. We're not in the We're not in turn. We're good. Sure. Take off the helmet. Okay. So, uh, who's doing what with the rope? I'm assuming someone wants to go down into the pit at least a little way to help him. <laughs> or just the rope's there. all down here with <laughs> yeah. me, so. I mean, but yeah. why have rope? Is uh, somebody yeah, else better at this than me? <laughs> what, athletics? Yeah. Don't even look over here. <laughs> uh, we got, got what, a bird. I got a, pl- I got a plus one to it, a so I might be the best. <laughs> actually, Nadia actually is surprisingly <laughs> strong. Good. I, good. I got two. Needed. She, oh, yeah, because you took that. She, she's, she's got some yeah. strength. She's got some strength. I, I wanted to, but I would... I wanted to switch my acrobatics and that, but acrobatics you get from board. Yeah. So I couldn't. I'm already dexterous. I'm not strong, so I. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. So, some rope. uh, Another coil of rope from who? Who has another coil of rope? Since that was mine. I do. (laughs) Alaros. Come down and get it. Volunteers his coil of rope. And um, perhaps more than one of you could hold on at a time. Yeah. Yep. Sure. While you're down there, throw the other end of the rope up. <laughs> <laughs> Such an ass. <laughs> What's the uh, you mean the wall look that, like on um, this side? You mean the rope that is that, that has fallen and yeah, and is slowly dissolving? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I had that thought already. <laughs> it's okay. I have a spare rope. That you can have. <laughs> what does the wall look like on the side? Is it sheer? Or um, is it? Yeah, fairly much sheer, like Fuck. like you're working with up here. Yeah. Yes. So I have an idea. Let it go. Oh, well, first, let's pull you up out of it. <laughs> so, um, perhaps Nadia should take the place of Zio on the map, or even Till, so that she's not actually on the pit slope. Yep. Who is going to help her hold rope? Zio will help. I will help. Excellent. That will give her dis- that will give her advantage. <laughs> that will give her disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> that will give her disadvantage. Well, we're, I mean, we're tens. It's it's an even even trade. She could take the eleven, but she's going to take the twenty. Yeah, I don't blame her. All right. I, would... I mean, unless she wants to leave him down there. And so, your companions gather together, perform a feat of strength, and pull you up the slope. Excellent. What's my supervising check? <laughs> you get an 11. <coughs> you needed a 12. It's a 13, yeah. actually, with perception. Intelligence. That would be charisma. What, supervision? Yeah. Yes. That's all charisma. That okay. is all charisma. That's all, that's, all about, <laughs> that's all about convincing actually, them a, that you're actually doing flammable? something. Yep. After we get them out, out of the slope, I would like to... Try your slide down the slope, leap for... No, first I want to. <laughs> you could luck with that. <laughs> no, what I want to do is I want to because when I when it went from under me, did it feel like a mechanism triggering, or does it feel did it feel like stone collapsing? Um, give me a investigation check on that one. All right, with disadvantage because now you're trying to remember. You were a little busy at the time. Yeah, trying, trying not, not to die. To die. Mm. Could cover the slope in the slime, slide down. All right, my then, high was 18, my low was a 13, so I will have uh, 15. 15 total. You think that it um, it's not a pivot point, because it would have already come back up. Uh, felt like it might be a mechanism. If you find it... Yeah, can I take a look around for the uh, triggering uh, point? Sure. Where are you looking? So, I'm going to, with Nadia and Zio and hopefully Corvin now also holding me up, I'm going to, like, take the rope and kind of, like, head down towards where I, where it started, where I was when it started to trigger, which I believe was, like, around okay. the halfway point. Tie the rope around your waist, maybe? Yes. So that, yeah. Excellent. And then they lower you. All right. You slide your way down the pit a little bit and um, give me a perception check. 
you don't find any kind of a triggering mechanism or mechanism. <laughs> Anything that looks like it might be used to deactivate the trap. What about on the other side? The, you mean back up the 15-foot climb? No. Yeah. On the other side of the wall. He's looking on this side. Okay. the other side. Do you want to check the other side of the wall? He's a dick like that. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Where are you checking? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not as good that time. Ten. Ten. Still no mechanism. Mechanism. Yeah, it's slime. Slime. Well, For future reference, I am the dick that hides magic wands and bedposts. So... <laughs> <clears throat> it's in the slime. You know, I wouldn't put it past it. <laughs> yep. But here's the thing: right. if, if that's the case, I would rather just all try and get to the other side. Take my spear, poke the slime. Um, you you already have a spear. I already have another weapon. The spear is just a spare weapon for me. So if the slime gets okay. on it and wrecks it, I'm not worried about it. But if we can move the slime away or find a button to push with it or something I will sacrifice that weapon I'm Does okay with that anyone like to take a um, history check to recall what lore they can remember about green slime sure Alaris will attempt it as will Till ah, nope Till has no idea well, no. it's green and it's slimy hmm. and apparently That's a 20. 20. What you know about green slime is that it it's um, apparently capable of sensing when people are near. It usually collects on ceilings and drops down, unless, uh-huh. of course, someone has moved it. But once, it, once it's moved, it doesn't have any power of its own to move. Okay. Um, what you also recall is that if it gets on someone, the only things you can do is either scrape it off uh, with probably a blade to get rid of the coating of slime or burn it off. Fire it does not particularly like. Uh-huh. Of course, it's all underwater right now. You could evaporate the water. Three feet of water. Take a while. That's... I'm, I'm <sighs> kidding. I'm kidding. Not the worst plan I've heard, but not the best. You know what? I, I know. You're kidding, <laughs> but sometimes sometimes your ideas are kind of well, you know, yeah, right on However, top. that bad. However, is there a plug to drain the, the water? Hmm? Is there any way to drain idea. the water? Can we find some kind of rudimentary lathe that we can? I was waiting to... for the lathe. How about a drink? bucket and a rope? Can well, we do that? There was some wheelbarrows back there. We can manage that. There are wheelbarrows back there. There are some and blocks. rope. Yeah, that's not ours. Yep, there's yep. lots of rope. There okay. is some wheelbarrows. Damage. You could try to um, tie the rope, scoop to. the water into. That's the actually plan. with the wheelbarrow you can roll the barrel yeah. down, pull it back up. Actually, yeah. Hell, one of us could get in it to get up and down. It'd be a lot faster. Sorry, I'm just. And do you still poke it with the spear to see how deep the slime is? I, I mean, if the if the water's three feet uh, deep and there's two feet of slime, yeah, the wheelbarrow will probably be destroyed before you can. There's get a significant oh, amount oh, out. Oh. I stop him. There's no sense in poking it with your spear. This is what it does. It's going to eat the spear. Okay. We could throw a bunch of shit down there so that yeah. Let's you know, go we grab can, some of the rocks can, and stuff and just pile it up until we can just cross it. Yeah. That you can do. You have a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrows and rocks. And we have three. I think. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. And the barrels. Yeah. We go back far enough. Yep. The crates. Okay. Of okay. water. Oh. Yeah. We don't need more water. I am going to take a look when they uh, drag me up, which I assume with yeah. all of them yeah. they'll have. No, we're going to leave you there. I am going to take a look on the uh, edge of the Europe to see if there's a mechanism there. Because, okay. I mean, I wouldn't put it past cold bolts. to be like, nah, if you were stupid enough to fall in the trap, the slime's just going to eat you. And the thing to put it back is on the other side. But I'm going to check this side. Okay. No, it's not a bad thought. Give me a perception check. Uh, uh, 21. You check around and, and a little bit to the sides as well, just to make sure. You still don't see a mechanism for doing that. 
So, proceeding with the wheelbarrow rock idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't take too long, really. I mean, a couple of wheelbarrowfuls of rock, and you've got it fairly well. The water isn't. The water rises a bit, maybe about to the four foot, five foot level, because it doesn't completely. Yeah. Displace. No, but if but, we keep putting it in a central spot. Exactly. Right, kind of exactly. Up. You'll get a mound. Um, and then we use the wheelbarrow. We wheel that down, stand you, in the wheelbarrow, and then jump up. Or we just fill in as much of the pit as we can and just walk across. Mm. You think it's fairly... You're not going to be able to well, fill up 15, 15, the whole feet. 15 feet. Not, no. not unless you want to pick up some of the picks and start you know, no. digging some more rock. No, that's why I say as much as we can. Um, you do shorten it by about... Five feet, so it's only going to be about a ten foot climb. Who is going to attempt the climb? Corbin is going to attempt the climb. Okay. Hey, you survived the last time. Yeah, why not? But now you can actually go down to the bottom of the pit and attempt to make the climb. Yeah, exactly. Do you have rope on you? Here's the thing: rope. (laughs) Because we're because we're going to need help. Yeah, true. Yeah. Throw it around the shoulder. And he falls back into the slime. What? Sure. <laughs> We're going to run out of rope eventually. <laughs> no, the slime is pretty much buried under all the rocks you put 22. on. 22. Wow. So, Corbin makes his way up, spider climbing. Just a couple back, all, uh, backflips. American Ninja style. Up the corridor, back to the top of the ledge. Mm. And you set yourself up there. And the next person in line, you lower the rope, brace yourself... Next person goes over. Who is going next? I have the next heaviest armor. <laughs> Zio goes next. Actually, and Nadia might. But Nadia has scale armor. Mm-hmm. Actually, she does have the next heavier armor. Okay. So she should go for next. The good, new, uh, the good news is uh, once Corbin is there to brace, uh, it's it's fairly non-die roll. At this point in time, you say you do it, you do it. Cool. So, okay. mm-hmm. up the pit. Up, up. Up for doors. Um, do you search along the wall at this point? Yes. Just to satisfy your curiosity. Okay, where did I put it? I'm there the precious I have eaten. There's the precious. 20. 20. All right. You do find the mechanism on this side of the pit. Um, it pushes into the wall, and when you push it into the wall, the centerpiece stays in place, and you see that there is a hole through the centerpiece to stick in some sort of a handle. So, using either a dagger or a spear shaft, one One of the the other will work. One of the picks, there you go. Pick. Use a pick handle, put the pick in. Give it a couple of cranks, and you see that it slowly cranks up the ramp back up into position. It takes a little while because there's we, now like yeah. you know three, four, five feet of rock on one end. Yeah, but, it's a few hundred pounds. And oh. once you get it up there, it clicks into place, um, and then sets off again because all the rock. <laughs> no, because he does have a hold of the handle. He can hold it there. Do we want to disable this? Well, in case we got to come back over. You will have to come back over with a whole bunch of other people at some point, hopefully. So we probably want to disable this. Yeah. yeah we'll at least. C- especially because we know there's nothing behind us. Yeah. Do so, we, not, so we're not super worried about something coming What up. kind of role is that anyway in this? I have not actually seen that. That would be a use of your uh, thief's tools uh, to see if you can gum up the works. If this was... This is a purely a mechanical trap. Um, basically, if you can wedge the handle so that it can't position, rotate, so that it can't rotate, how I don't know. You want to stick some rocks in there? I mean, we could. Yeah, uh, I'm just curious like, on what kind of like you've got skill like five or feet of rock. Actually, not really skill. It's more of a figuring out sort of thing. So, okay. you grab some rocks. So, yeah. You you start filling in that hole to try See which and keep one it fits. in place. Right. Maybe well, wedge the. I think we should find one that fits appropriately that when we run by, if we're being followed, we can pull it and go across. Well, we can just chop the handle. If it's a wood, But pick. if it's covered with rocks, 
Well, it'd just be one rock out. at the bottom. To yeah, we just need the place. right rock, is what I'm saying. Yeah, we use one wedged rock to... So you can use your spear to wedge the handle in place. It does drop the rim down by maybe about maybe a half a foot. That's fine by me. We know where uh, it is. And but you know where it is, you know, do it. and it doesn't yeah. drop it any further way down. I we wouldn't come suggest by, we just that you smash jump the up and down on the ramp because yeah. you, know, you just might snap it. As long but, as whoever is going to pull the spear last needs to be able to hold that handle, too, so that the people can run across. Yeah. I mean, that's assuming we even need to do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. We could just kill yeah. everything, and then we don't have to worry. Yeah. And you can take your time. and Yeah. Uh, you do note that... The having worked the trap now, the trap pretty much the 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 floor would only have dropped away if something heavier than a cobbled went across. So probably a single cobbled would go across, lock mm-hmm. it in place, and everyone else would be able to get back. Gotcha. I wonder how hard it would be to tweak it so a cobbled would set it off. Let's because not worry about that right now. Set it off. Well, I would have set it off anyway. I'm heavier than a cobalt. Yes. So I, I don't really get the point. Yeah. So that way a cobalt... When an actual cobalt goes across, it sets it off. But again, yeah. we're... I know. We're I know. You're on the wrong side. Yeah. On yeah. the wrong side. Also, yeah. if we're running back, we need everyone to go across and one I, person yeah. who's willing to just make the... Like, yeah. He's just one. It's just a uh, Yeah, it's just a thought. By Random way, thought. Pops uh, in his head. Corbin, you can keep that like the rope I gave you if you don't have one. Oh, I have one. I just didn't want to ruin mine. It's okay, because I have two, so... Oh, okay. Well, now I have none. Fuck you. Well, there you go. This is why, this is why you always carry spares, yeah. Well, I didn't want to. Uh, you guys are going to have to throw the air. <laughs> wow, that is bit. such oh, a teenager response. But I don't want to. That's, that's why I said it. Entirely. <gasps> Sputnik! You, you can, you can, oh, Sputnik has returned? Yay, Sputnik is back. Yay. All right, so occasionally I will hand bill the uh, <laughs> marker to mark something off on the map, and amazingly, uh, we have Sputnik and oh, no Pac-Man. No, no more Pac-Man. No Pac-Man. Or will goldfish. appear on the map somewhere. But succeeded on his stealth check. <laughs> oh, he's in the coils of the rope. Nice. He's right there. What happened to the pen? Anyways. It's right there. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. I may need to drop the files. Okay, so... Uh, you can put Zio back on the map, fine. For at I least am on the map. Hand. We never took him off. They just pushed me through a wall. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's what I meant. Alrighty, so. Till, you approach the, the way there, and the good news is oh the chamber ahead of you is much bigger. It's like a 30-foot <gasps> ceiling. You okay. actually don't feel the oppressive weight of the earth pounding around you. As you come to the opening. Ahead of you, however, you do see something. You see an about, uh, right about, clustered, right about. Front one. Yep. Just making sure. And I want to do it against the wall before I blinded people. Clustered right about in this area. Between the two coils. There are... Stand them up. <laughs> Bunch of dead cobalt. <laughs> Stand them up. Dozy do them. <laughs> Sleeping now. <laughs> the kobolds that are there, the ones that were holding bows, have wings <laughs> on their back. Winged fucking. Kobolds? Kobolds with wings. In a 30-foot room. More kobold than kobold. Well done. Well done. Yes. Nice Whereas the, the non-winged kobolds around with their, their regular slings and spears. Um, and they all seem to be clustered, gathered around a frantic-looking skunk. No! <laughs> <laughs> They're taking orders. <laughs> Kill them, you fools! <laughs> and since no. you guys gave up on stealth a long time ago, they all look towards the entrance where you are arriving. Skunks just With this look us. on their face of, they threatened our skunk. I don't speak draconic. I do. Well, it was all in the facial expression. Didn't you listen? No. <laughs> the manic little skunk just waving his hands at the hallway we're coming out of. 
the reason why it's been like over an hour and this is Please, as far as the skunk has gotten on getting help is the fact that the cobbles don't understand skunk. They're just scratching. Well, them. you know, they should have been better. So, we're going to roll initiative. That's right. Can the skunk face bomb? <laughs> Zio. That's a seven. That's <laughs> okay. Alaros. 23. Jesus. Uh, All right. And we're in the back again. <laughs> Chill. 16. All right. Corbin. 12. 12. Uh, Nadia. Gets a 5. The Erds. Winged Kobolds. Get a twenty-one, and the wingless cobbles get a (laughs) twenty-two. Son of a bitch! (sighs) That was a nineteen and a twenty used for the evening. I will probably never see those rolls again. So who's in front? Uh, Oh, not me. Till is in front. However, (laughs) Alaros is first. (laughs) Huh. <laughs> you want to come up front? Back of the pack. <laughs> Fuck no. Um, you sure? Another magic missile would be great. Just <laughs> one, two, three. Hmm. How many winged kobolds are there? Three. Exactly. <laughs> magic missile. All right. One so for you each. Will cast magic missile. One for each. Okay, the first magic missile will strike for how much damage? Two points of damage. The second magic missile will strike for how much damage? Three points of damage. And the last? Five points. Nice. Excellent. They, All three of them reel a little bit from the, the impact of the mystical darts, but none of them die. Yeah. That's okay. They're damaged, and... Yeah. <laughs> Next up would be the cobbles without wings. So. You and I need to switch places. He needs to be where I am. He has reach. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just stand up front with my shield. <laughs> yeah, well, I gotta get through all of you yeah. before I can get <laughs> oh, There we go. Alright, so. Now, if I can find one that doesn't. Okay, we're gonna start with you because I can see that you don't have a boat. You will move one, two, three, four, right to there. Okay. You will move right to there. Actually, sorry. He'll move right to there. He's going to try to use the wheelbarrow as cover. You are going to move right to here with the same thought in your head, using the wheelbarrow as cover. That one in the middle is just not so smart. Yeah, he didn't think of that at the time. However, all three of them are going to use their slings to fling stones at Till. Till. It's okay. He probably would have tried to use the rope as cover anyway. (laughs) Let's coil myself up in this. (laughs) 14, as I recall, correct? Yep. Had itch right underneath the bar of things. That's the one downside to these. (laughs) All right. I'll be working and go like... I do a lot of like shifting it to like the front of my head, and then shifting it yeah. back. All right, the first sling stone smacks the wall to your left. The second sling stone smacks the wall to your right, and the final. But the third stone, sl- the third stone. stone, fell into the swamp and sank. Uh, the third stone, however, I'm will not. hit you. And you will be struck it for five points of damage. Ow. Bringing you down to an eight. I already said ow. Are you clicking? No. Who's clicking? Somebody I have no idea <laughs> what you're talking about. 
Click off. There is no clicking. <laughs> okay. And where the fuck did that unicorn come from? <laughs> it's a funny squeaky sound. <laughs> Alrighty then. The unicorn goes next. Uh, <laughs> Deadpool is on his back. Yep. <laughs> However, in place of the unicorn will be the Erds, the three flying kobolds, Maximum who will take effort. off into the air. They will... Yep, where is my magic pointer thingy? The first one will fly to there. He is now 15 feet up. The second one will fly... To there, he is now 30 feet up. And that last one will fly over to here. He is also 30 feet up. 15, 30, 30. 120 feet. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I got this. Paul. <laughs> All right. And they will each uh, dig into the pouches at their sides. And take out a rock. Next up will be Till. Till, you're up. I don't like where I am. <laughs> <laughs> Till, who I is at the front of the party right now, facing the room full of kobolds. Yeah, but at the same forward. time, the only place I can really move is forward, and that <laughs> seems worse. <laughs> really? I don't know. Use some of that rope as cover. <laughs> the rope is behind the kobolds. And? <laughs> they will never think to look there. True. It's very true. Of course, they can see right over it. <laughs> Just saying they're not particularly big coils. <laughs> I didn't say they were smart kobolds. <laughs> of course, they're not my kobolds. No, but... they're not your kobolds. Hashtag I kobolds. am going to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going on. <laughs> so it's the ones with the bows that are the uh, uh, the winged these. ones, yeah. correct? Okay. Just viciously mock it so it falls from the sky. I wish. I am going to start to whisper a dissident melody oh, dear. at this one. Ooh. Slightly off key, disturbing. Oh, oh, nice. God, he's not singing it right. That's- that's these are these are our chords of doom. <laughs> yes. That note was flat. <laughs> Actually, I think it was kind of sharp. To tell you the truth, that's 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 how off putting it is. You can't tell which way it goes. <laughs> it's, name of my it's a quarter cover step. Band. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quarter step off. Alrighty. So what do uh, what do I need to do? I make a wisdom save. Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> You use us a cobalt to make a wisdom save? Yeah. That's, uh, that's, 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 that's why I keep bad. using Vicious Mockery, because I'm just like, I, it's is... only a d4 damage, but it also gives them disadvantage, and they're gonna fucking fail. <laughs> this is not too wise right now. Oh, hey, that's a good roll for them. Three. Total of a 17. Oh, shit. All right, they do take half damage. Oh, that's not a good result mm-hmm. for him. Which one are we at? That one. This one. <laughs> okay. He's got multiple dice. Yep. It's uh, three, six. (laughs) So half of 16 would be eight. Eight. So with a discordant tune, the sonic attack cuts the (laughs) Erd in half. Jesus. And the two pieces fall out of the air. They make finger guns at the other kobolds. (laughs) All right. The other kobolds are looking uncertain about this. Anything else, sir? You are still in a four-foot-tall space. Yeah, I'm going to move out and to the side. All right. There we go. And this is the one that I... uh... That is the one that is dead. Thank you. He is smiley face up. You got it right on the first try. I know. <laughs> so We're so proud of you. So proud of you. And this marks the Ooh. actual first moment of the Smiley Face Up podcast. <laughs> 
thank you to hour 13. <laughs> <laughs> like, again, if this was video, that's when our title would finally pop up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the DM got it right! The DM got it right! This, this has all just been the prelude. <laughs> Cue entry music. Anyways. Next up. Sorry, you were waiting for me. Uh, Corbin, actually, with a 12. Is that so? Yep. Really? It is. Corbin okay. is up next. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't move. You can double move. Oh, good. Yeah. So Get let me right just... up in there. I'm just going to... Yeah, we're going to go right here. Okay. Yeah. Not underneath the flyers, but close. All right. And <laughs> you say bring it. <laughs> Making the bring it motions, which apparently is the football pad... Bring it. <laughs> Which is interesting because he's got a shield on one arm and a spear in the other hand, and hopefully he did not just stab himself. <laughs> Ow! <Don't. laughs> uh, next up is going to be Alaros. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Wait a second. These guys are flying. Wait, wait. Did I get skipped? Because he, he magic first. missiled, and I haven't acted yet. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I was looking at it. I was looking at Zio, but reading A. Oh, well, Zio, uh, Zio, you're up. I was gonna say. I mean, not that I don't want you to go, but he doesn't want go. you to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was a piece up. <clears throat> That's why we should have just kept with skipping your turn. <laughs> and. uh... Elrich Blast. Straight up. Okay. Oh, boy. Eleven. You will miss. Yeah. Yes, you will definitely miss. It zigs instead of zags. Hits the ceiling. Causes a cave in. We're all dead. And you all die. In our next segment. Except for <laughs> these two, because they're in the back. Yes. You live... I, I would demand a dexterity save um, to die back in the game. You all of four spaces, three spaces, three, sir. That's right, and I'm not within uh, his reach. Correct. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Next up is going to be Nadia. Nadia, Nadia, Nadia. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Do it. Do it. I have Witch Bolt memorized. Oh, so to me power <laughs> Just remember, you unless you take a long rest mm-hmm. a short re- you cannot regain any more spells. Uh-huh. Mm. Just put it out there. What does she have? It's his way of system? saying we're Think not getting a long rest. You know. Anytime soon. Not unless you actually wow. want there You've to be learned to pick up on the subtlety of uh, the yes. DM. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, somebody had to point it out just in case like any of us don't get it or any of the listeners. Correct. I felt like so, I should be that voice. Not see, yet. now I think that's like a spoiler alert. You should have let them like figure it out that he's going to kill us. We'll move one, two, three, four, okay. five. If somebody doesn't know the DM's trying to six. kill us... And they she's going to throw... Into. Actually, no, she is adjacent. Yay, adjacent! She swings her mace Ooh. at the kobold. And with a roll of a 19, she will strike the kobold with her mace. Nice. For six points of damage. It's not a con crushing attack. Crushing its skull. <laughs> The kobold is dead. Well, shit. All right. She looks somewhat <laughs> dismayed by this for a moment. And then please... And then remembers <laughs> bad things. Yeah. Oh, no. Which children brings us creature. to yeah. Alaros. Now. Now it is the time of your turn. <laughs> the... <laughs> You yeah, remember that's... when I gave any shit about not knowing where it was going? <laughs> Were you discontent? That, that's that's kind of why we <laughs> roll with <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Now it was the time of your turn. Who are we, Fireball? 
That one. That one. Alrighty. The time of your turn is now. Having once dodged an Eldritch Blast. Fifteen. No, it fails to dodge the Firebolt. Which one singes it. Point of damage. For one point of damage. <laughs> and it is still flying. So it mostly dodged it. Singed its tails. toe got uh, hurt. At least I hit it. Wow. Okay then. Wizard do it too soon? So. Not soon enough. Hmm. Indeed. Well, that if cobbled. only he, his yes. turn was then. <laughs> well, it's but now. it's now. Or it was. And now it's gone. That cobbled right there. Fires a sling bolt at Nadia. They are having a crappy day with those, however, and miss completely. That one right there will fire a stone off at Corbin. Corbin raises his shield. And with a loud kaplunk, takes the stone directly on the nose for a crit. That's because you're not wearing the helmet anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it rolled off the paper. That doesn't count. <laughs> You remember that slime on your helmet that you took off? You gotta put that. You gotta get a new helmet. That'll protect you from crits. Corbin, it's a seventeen. To Corbin is, is knocked <laughs> right the fuck out as he takes eight points of damage. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Christ. And now has a broken nose and falls to the ground. Smiley face up. Hey, guess what? You're now the first and the third. He's the first, second, and third. <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought you were down no, in there. The no, I I thought... you were the second. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Bite me. <laughs> <laughs> why would I do that? Why? Why would you do that? All so right. tantalized. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> it's so tantalized. All righty. Next up is the two remaining urds. So, there we go. That one mm. was going to fly over Corbin, but doesn't have to. So he will fly over Till, and he will drop a stone. One, two, three. <laughs> Into the wall. Yeah. However, it lands next to you as you dodge out of the way. That was, what, three squares? Yes. Yep. It will then go up. To thirty feet, and we'll stop right there. All right, here. Yes, thank you. Please. The second one, that one, is going to fly over Zio. One, two, three. Drop a stone, and then wind up here. That stone will land on you. Mm. I could do it. I can do it. As you take five points of damage. I could do it. I can set him ablaze right now. He's a kobold. You hit him with the Eldritch Blast. He's gonna die. Or I could just kill him now. You have three seconds to decide. I won't do it. Okay. Moving on. You said how much? You took... Uh, five points of damage. That's what I thought. Okay. Moving on is Till. Yeah, I'm going to uh, viciously mock this uh, this w- this winged freak. Who does he right. think he is? <laughs> Flap Sorry, around like he owns there. the place. That guy. Screw that guy. All right. You are viciously mocking him. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna remind him of like the times that he was made fun of in school for having <laughs> wings. <laughs> Call those things wings. It's got one smaller wing. <laughs> we call it his lucky wing. <laughs> Side note: Erds and wingless kobolds never really get along. <laughs> so yeah. that's that's uh, fairly accurate. He fails that uh, wisdom save rather remarkably. Nice. Three damage. <laughs> And has Killing disadvantage. Him. Did he kill himself? <laughs> he did not kill himself yet. But uh, 
He's having <laughs> some thoughts about going into the wall. Just fold the wings and let now it Now I come. just want to try and persuade him to <laughs> run himself into the wall. Like <laughs> it's, it's, it's a better life waiting for you on the other side. <laughs> I, I kind of want to try that. Uh, Down on the ground uh, and anything else grave. <laughs> um, right. It's kind of dark. <laughs> is it, though? Yeah. It's, it's, now you have to use her uh, or... skill on uh, Corvin yet since a short rest. Correct. Actually. She right. has not used it on anyone, I believe. Yeah, mm-hmm. then, I am not, then I'm not going to uh, use up my last uh, spell, spell slot. slot. Okay. I'll save that for an emergency. Whatever is next. All right. Next up is going to be Corbin. Corbin, give me a death save. Come on, 20. One. No, five. Five. Five, five, five. Falling further into oblivion. Next up is Zeo. I really want to try and persuade him to throw himself (laughs) into the wall. (laughs) Between the insult and then if I just like add on to that, I feel like I might be able to do it. I'm very charismatic. You can you can take the shot. You can definitely take the shot. How funny would that fucking be if it works? I'm gonna fucking it'd do be, it. It'd be what are you gonna great. say? He's right. Don't you remember how poorly they treated you? You might as well not even exist. You'd have a better life afterwards. Well, existence afterwards. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Going with make it. your make your persuasion check. It's um can't add. <laughs> Sixteen. Sixteen. You fail. Damn. Mostly because at no point in your sentence at all did you perhaps Tell suggest him. running Tell into me. the wall yeah. Yeah, is an no, alternative. Really himself, basically. Yeah. <laughs> now he's what? angered and Bolstered by your insult, and you may you know, move, kill us and, all. And uh, you still have the bonus. Yeah, I don't have anything really to do with the bonus. Okay. Do you want to move? <clears throat> There's nothing I want to do. That's an action. I can't do that. Uh, no. I will stay right there. Alrighty then. Next up will be Nadia. Ma- Nadia sees that one of her companions fell to the ground. Again. Badly wounded. She will approach. Do, 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 do. She will. Nadia use power! Another healer's kit. Boop! <laughs> I like that she's not doing magic healing because she is literally our band aid. <laughs> <laughs> it's really more of an herbal medicine. It's just gonna be a group of mummies that come walking out of here. We were saved by mummies. <laughs> Whose? Well, th- well, three of us. Appropriately, the wizard has not <laughs> been, has stayed out of the shit. Guys, what's up? What's wrong? Uh, with you? She wraps her face with a bandage and smears some sort of gunk on it, and you now have ten hit points. It smells like yams. <laughs> <laughs> Why, yeah. <laughs> it's a replacement yeah, reference. I, I know, but why, yeah. Because she gave him a shoulder ointment that smelled like wild yams. But why, yams? Because <laughs> that's where my mind went for the movie <laughs> reference. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Next up it is will worry about it. Firebolt. On Ooh, which one? Jesus Christ! <laughs> fucking <like. laughs> Elros rolls his eyes and his dice and fires off a bolt of fire. Three points of damage. That engulfs the Erd in flames. Oh, that was and the he one falls who falls to the ground. I have ended already. your trouble. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was that one right there, I believe. This I one. Thought, that oh, right was that one? Yeah. Okay, well, yep, he's dead. <laughs> yep, yeah, well, his <laughs> troubles are over now. <laughs> he, uh,. He's gone to that great mine shaft in the sky. <laughs> that is like... I don't know, they should have some higher expectations than that. I mean, seriously. <laughs> A little bit. Again, culturally obsessed with mining. Yeah. They're digging but, through the earth. But you don't understand. A thousand dicks. I mean, seriously. <laughs> the mythical dog of a thousand dicks. 
Oh, Lord. All right. Alaris, anything else? You're going to stay right where you are? Yeah, I'm just going to stay where I am. All right. It's been Re- working Remember, for me. you are crouched over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. They can't drop rocks on my head this way. Mm. Good, good choice. Point. Good choice. Well, yeah, the one remaining one. All right. Speaking <laughs> of uh, oh, rocks them vertically. flying at your nose, horizontally. The two remaining kobolds. One fires a rock at Nadia. Oh dear. The rock. <laughs> oh, crap. There goes the band aid. Goes flying out of the sling in the wrong direction. Oh, good. I thought it was coming to me again. <laughs> and hits the other kobold across the room. <laughs> Wow. Dumbass. Not only did it not go forward, it went backwards. Nice. <laughs> Hitting him for three points of damage. <laughs> Which you understand is, hey, what the fuck were you just doing? Language. <laughs> <laughs> did anyone hear the wizard say language? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't speak draconic. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. Uh, the other one is Throws not back. firing back at him. He totally should. I know, but he doesn't. He, ins- uh, he instead makes a rude gesture at the other kobold and fires a slingstone at Till. Uh-oh. And will miss. These kobolds are just historically bad at sling. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, except for, except for the one that, that just about killed you. Broke yeah, my nose. That. Yeah, he's been practicing. My nose. Then there's that. Um, next up is the one remaining flying kobold. Who will? He will wind up flying across the map over Nadia's head and will wind up there. He will drop a rock on her as he goes by. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, <laughs> <Right. laughs> uh, Nadia. Nadia. Unless he misses Nadia. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. And it's either Till or you, depending on which way it drifts. <laughs> she manages to raise her shield above her head in time to deflect the rock. It falls onto the ground, not on top of Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Till, you are up. Uh, the one who was hit by his friend, I'm going to viciously mock him. See, you know, <laughs> friends don't like you. You can hit shit. You might as well just walk off a cliff. <laughs> Make a wisdom save. Those aren't having any friends. <laughs> no, not this one. Yep, he is viciously mocked. They have not made a single one. Three damage. <laughs> Three damage. <laughs> Uh, he looks confused for a second, viciously mocked as he is, turns around, runs directly at the wall. There is a loud snap as he kills himself. Yes! Wow. I've been wa- I've been waiting for this ridiculous power to finally kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Alright. And I again I turn to the other kobolds. Finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what's a gun? Finger crossbows. In world. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Finger, finger crossbows. crossbows. Finger crossbows. <laughs> that, that, that is now a thing. Finger crossbows. Uh, so it's like a finger crossbow? Like, yes, yeah, there you exactly. Go. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just curve a finger over the one. Corbin, you're up. No, I'm down, but I'm going to stand. Good choice, good choice. And this little bugger right here? Yes. Oh, why don't we vault over the uh, wheelbarrow and stab at him? You want to vault? Over? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, no. Give me an athletics trick. Yes. Oh, crap. Here we go. Hmm? 20. Excellent. Oh. You vault over the barrel, place yourself <laughs> in the new spot. Landing on the cobalt. Exactly. <laughs> Driving the spear down on him. Okay. Make your attack roll. 18. You will hit the kobold, roll your damage. For ten. Wow. So, 
Corbin, vault in a fit of anger, vaults <laughs> over the wheelbarrow with a ah! and drives his spear through the collarbone of the kobold into the ground behind him, pinning him in place. He is impaled. Twist. See? Spears and can then pierce twist. ground. <laughs> <laughs> It's not so. <laughs> it very well could be. We're in it, the fucking mine. It's alluvial. Th- this this is not solid ground. That where you did want to stick it into it, that was solid. Yes. yes. This is alluvial. Like loose soil. Wall of it's rock. been packed down, but it's not Zio, solid. You're up. You're up, Zio. That, that one's flying still? Yes. That rush blast. There you go. Don't roll Let's see one. if I can actually fucking hit one with this thing. <laughs> you have to do something stupid first, then it works. No. Thank you for that. You didn't, didn't do something stupid. You're right, I didn't. It didn't work. He got cartwheeled no, first. And then... So you blast the uh, ceiling above him? I'm, I'm just trying to be distracting to, for other people <laughs> to get openings. That's what I'm doing. It is Nadia's turn once again. All the ones on the ground are dead. It's like I always told you, words are more powerful than weird magical energy. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> Make him run into another wall. <clears throat> Says Alaris. the guy who magically convinced a kobold to kill himself. <laughs> Don't forget words. cut one in half with weird with words. Words. Yeah. Yeah. Words are more powerful than weird magical energy. Word. That's true. The pen is mightier than the sword. You don't have uh, to write it down, you just have to say it. Seems to be working for me, so I'm gonna fire a bolt. That's an eleven. That that one did not work. It also dodges that one. Try to intimidate it. <laughs> no. Damn it. It, however, will fly. Oh, damn it. Hmm. Thought it was already doing that. He will make a beeline. Curly comes key. down to ground level and continues down the corridor. Wait, 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 wait. No, come back. Not cool. For this part of the adventure, everybody earns 100 experience points. Well, that's easy. Yep. Halfway there. Yep. Living on a prayer. (laughs) Thank you, 80s. And Witch Bolt. (laughs) Next time on Heroes Play. This is amazing. Dig a cookie. Cookie. I thought they said dig a cow eye. Is that shaken skunk syndrome? Is he barking at me or something? They make creams for that. Heroes Play is a Smiley Face Up production, a subsidiary of Aqua Games with executive producers Andrew Kelby and Bill Leach. Visit aquagames.wixsite.com slash aquagames for more information. Mm-hmm.